friends, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Dee. I am a lover of all things beauty, and here on my channel, I talk about a variety of different things, mostly related to skincare, makeup, mid-sized fashion, lifestyle, all that jazz. Um, and I'm really excited today because I'm going to be doing a another series of my Battle of the Mascara series. So I will link the other ones that I did below, as you can see here. I have one eye done and one eye do not done. But the reason why I started this series real quick is I have been on a lash journey. I have been using the Hello Lash, I think it's called, um, or Hello Skincare Lash Therapy for over six months now. This is my second bottle. So my first bottle lasted six months. This is my second one. And I used to use lash extensions, then found the DIY lash world, but still my natural lashes were very short and sparse. And since I've been using this, I have grown my lashes, as you can see, to its natural length. I love it. They are darker, thicker, longer than they ever have been. And this is the only lash serum that I've ever used that I feel actually works, but doesn't irritate my eyes or like dye my eyes, funny colors or my lids or anything like that. So I decided to do this mascara series because I'm like, okay, let me get on, let me see what is the best best mascara and kind of go through this. So I figured I'd take you guys along. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get in the video. This is the mascara that we're gonna be reviewing today. It is the It Cosmetics Hello Lashes. Um, it says lash loving volume, uh, volumizing mascara. It's supposed to have lash care serum in it. It said seven out of 10 people noticed or saw less lash loss during removal and 93% say their lashes actually look fuller after use. So you can see here, this is the one that I did before. Um, I always like to try it out first and kind of do a first impressions. And there's two different methods that I normally do when I'm trying a new mascara. The first method is I do one coat, let it dry, do another coat, let it dry. The other second, or the other technique I do is just sit there and apply, apply, apply. And I found that different formulations determine what technique you use. So I don't like to judge a mascara just on one technique. I like to use both of them. If neither one of them work, then what the heck? But usually one or the other works better than the other one. So um, with this one, I did apply one layer, kind of let it dry, and then went in for a second layer. And I was able to build it up to this really, really pretty, like I was shocked. I did not think I was gonna like this. Because first of all, a couple things, Packaging good. I do like this little, I'm not a sucker for packaging. Let me just say that. There are some packaging that I'm like, oh my gosh, look how gorgeous it is. But otherwise, I don't care. Black, white, purple, pink, don't matter. As long as the product actually works, I don't care about the packaging. But I will tell you about this one. This one has this like, it's not rubber, but it's not, it's, it's a little bit, it's like matte, if you will. I do find that I like it a little bit better. I feel like my hand slips less then say using like even my City Beauty, this is my all time favorite volumizing mascara, uh, Beyond Mascara by City Beauty, but it has this like slippery thing. I don't notice that I ever like had it slip, but this one has a little bit matte and I did feel like I had a little bit more control or I didn't have that sensation that it was gonna slip out of my hands. Um, so first thing, pro for that. The one thing that I am still not 100% sure I like about it is the wand. Um, the wand itself, aside from this little like crazy thing that looks like one of those chain things that you, they used to spin around and kill people with in the medieval times, that's what it reminds me of. Aside from that, the wand is really nice. It is more spiky. So it is not a soft wand by any means. I don't feel like I, first off, I can't go in and wiggle with it and I'll kind of show you. Like I can get in to my corners, but I can't wiggle with it because the wand has these spikes on it. It's not comfortable. Not only that, I can't wiggle with it because of the this right here. Um, but I do have to say, I kind of like it because I feel like I can get into the corners a little bit more than I can with some of the other mascara ones that I've tried. So I do like that. Like I just kind of take it here and I feel like it gives me a little bit more um, ability to get into the corners. I would say I didn't hate it as much. When I first saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is not gonna work. I didn't hate it as, as much as I thought it was going to, but it does take a little bit of time. I feel like I have to play with it a little bit more. It's not like a normal, let me show you. Like this one, the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes um, Tubing Mascara. Is this the Tarte? This is their Tarte Tubing Mascara. 
Um, this is a wand that I like, this is very similar to this one, except it's a softer wand. Like you can see here, the shape is similar aside from the, the medieval, you know, torture device, but it's, this one definitely has more spikes on it than this one. So with this one, the tart, I can get in there and like really kind of get to the root and really move it out. I can't with this one. So I don't necessarily want to say that it's a con, but it, it, it's, I wish I had that ability. Let's just say that it's not, it's definitely not a pro, but I do like the fact that I can get into it. And like I said, I just kind of go in with one shade or one shade, one layer and kind of work through at first, like right now, it doesn't look like it's much of anything, but I was, like I said, able to build it up to the volume that I thought. Right off the bat, I don't feel like it's a volumizing mascara. Like, I feel like it's a good lengthening mascara that you can build up to volumizing, but it's not right out of the gate of volumizing. This one to me is like a true volumizing formula. And you can see here the wand, it's usually with volumizing mascaras, the wand is bigger, thicker, you know, that kind of thing. I don't hate this. The more that I'm looking at it, the better I like, but I am noticing something right off the bat and this is like live action. In the moment, it is sticking to my bottom lashes. So the formula is wet still and I probably did this about 10 minutes ago. So that's a weird little thing. Like usually form formulations dry a lot quicker, but this one right here keeps getting stuck to this lash. Interesting, we'll see how that plays out. But I don't feel like it's a true normal vol volumizing mascara, to be honest. But I'm gonna build this up so you can see it, see it in live action. I'll speed it up. Yeah, see, right here, it keeps getting stuck on that. I don't think I like that. I don't think I like that at all, but we'll see. We'll see how it wears throughout the day. So a couple things right off the bat, aside from this piece of it that's sticking, which I'm going to have to like wear it throughout the day. And I'll tell you, obviously at the end of the day, how, what I think about it. First impressions, I didn't think I was going to like it. I like it a lot better than what I thought it was going to. Um, the wand isn't as bad as I thought. I do like the fact that it separates, like it's almost combing my lashes, which I do like. I like the fact that I could build it up. I like big, bold, thick lashes. I want them to look like tarantulas, um, big false lashes without being falsies. I feel like this is a really, really good, like it got me to where I, I actually like it. But I do also like the fact that it is not a standard volumizing um, wand. So I can separate them a little bit more and it kind of combs through. So it's volumizing, but it's not clumping, if that makes any sense. So I do really, really like that. Um, the bottom lashes were easy to do. The one thing I have to say about normal volumizing mascaras, because of the wand is so big, I do find that it's a little bit harder to work with and I smear it all over. This one had no problems even with the torture device at the end. So first impressions, I do really, really like it, but this is going to drive me all day if it doesn't dry down. So I'm gonna wear it throughout the day. I will come back at the end of the day, let you guys see it, let you know if it flaked, if it smudged, if this is continuing to do this, whatever it is. Um, and then I will take it off and let you guys know how easy it is to take off. Cause sometimes I've tried mascaras that aren't waterproof that are a bear to take off and that's a no go for me. So stay tuned. Thank you.